Hey, greetings everyone. Glenn Calloway from The Basement. Hey, I just want to let you know that I just uh, uploaded a video on my Bluegrass from The Basement channel just uh, focusing on this artist, Billy Strings, doing a review on this album. This was released on Friday, so I thought I'd show it today. I'm just doing a random thing today with albums. But uh, Billy Strings, Live Volume 1, great collage uh, inside. If you're not familiar with this artist, you should check him out, whether you like bluegrass music or not. He's so exciting and such a great artist, great performer. He's taken the world by storm. He's everywhere. He's filling arenas. It's fantastic. This is a really uh, great live album. Lots of energy. Um, some great classic Billy Strings tunes and a couple of new tunes. And uh, man, I'm looking forward to volume two. I'm going to see this man in October in uh, Michigan. Very excited, but um, check out Billy Strings and watch my uh, review on the other channel. It's on the Reprise label and uh, double album, fantastic. Can't get it off the turntable. Um, just thought I'd show some random stuff here. Couple I pulled on purpose so I get a chance to uh, plug a couple of things. Um, first thing I'm gonna show is uh, Bruce Coburn's Dancing in the Dragon's Job. Uh, I just uh, participated in a video uh, with uh, four other gentlemen on Rob's channel, Northern Revolutions. If you're not a uh, subscriber to Rob, please do so and, and support his channel. He's a great guy, very good friend, and, and uh, I want to thank him for inviting me to do that. Uh, we just had talked about our favorite Canadian albums, and it was all Canadians participating. It was kind of cool. But anyway, this is my favorite Bruce Coburn album. I think Bruce doesn't get enough love in the world. A great guitar player, great songwriter, great singer, great humanitarian. Uh, in Canada, released on the True North label. Uh, this one has... Uh, a song that was a big hit in Canada, I'm not sure, uh, about the U.S., called Wondering Where the Lions Are. Tokyo's on this album, which is another great song, just a great acoustic album. Um, it was brought up that Bruce uh, the, the brings a lot of Christianity into the, his music, um, but the one thing about it, he's not preachy about it. It's very poetic, and um, I, I absolutely appreciate it, and uh, I'm a huge fan. Bruce Coburn. Dancing in the Dragon's Jaw is the name of that album. Next, my buddy Sam uh, talked me. I knew I've known this artist since he was a little kid. I saw him perform with Lester Flat at the Bluegrass Festival in the late seventies. Um, but Sam kept bugging me. Uh, Sam St. John, another great channel to uh, to watch, and another awesome friend. Um, Sam encouraged me to buy this album, and I waited a long time and finally did, and so happy I did. It's fantastic. Marty Stewart's Way Out West with his band, The Fabulous Superlatives, produced by Mike Campbell from uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Great album. I mean, it's just, it's not a country album. It's, um, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. Very r rootsy, uh, some country, obviously, but um, some rock, too. Some. It's just a a very eclectic uh, musical adventure and uh, great playing well worth checking out uh, don't don't not listen to the, this album because you say you don't like country music because uh, I think you'll like this one next soundtrack album this one's a really interesting one it was a record store release at some point I don't know when uh, it's from a movie that was made in 1970, some weird frickin' spacey movie called Zabriskie Point. But the soundtrack album is friggin' fantastic. It has Pink Floyd on it, who they call The Pink Floyd, a uh, band called Kaleidoscope, The Grateful Dead, um, Patty Page, <laughs> how's that for a combination? The Youngbloods, Jerry Garcia, uh, Roscoe Holcomb, John Fahey, I mean, just a great selection of artists. This is a freaking awesome soundtrack album. You got to check it out. It's really, really good. I, I'm not huge on soundtrack albums, but man, this one is fantastic. Definitely worth checking into if you like kind of, I guess, trippy music or whatever. Next, an artist that was real uh, popular in, I guess, the, the MTV days, 
is Robert Palmer. I'm a fan. I think he rocks really good, man. Riptide. I loved Robert Palmer, and he was with the power station for a while. So I'm like, get hot. Great song. This has got uh, Addicted to Love on it. Uh, I Didn't Mean to Turn You On. Um, Riptide. Really good album. I have a, a comp, a hits album on CD of his, which I absolutely love. It's like, man, I mean, you just it, it's upbeat, good music. Great band, great artist. He's one of the pop artists, I guess, that I like. Uh, maybe it's a guilty pleasure. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think of Robert Palmer. Next, go back to Pre Eagles. Poco. Not the Poco with it happens all the time. That crazy. Not, not that poppy, syrupy Poco stuff that most people know. This is their album, self titled Poco. It's like a this is like a country rock album. There's one song on side two that is about 15 frickin' minutes long. Where is it? Where is it? I'll find it. Uh, oh, uh, bu -bu -bu. Yeah, the whole side two is kind of one long song. This album's from 1970, which is real trippy and everything. Uh, I'm talking to you, Tim Houston. You Check this album out, and especially listen to side two. It's a freaking great record. What else have I got here? I'm going to do my other uh, commercial here. I'm doing a uh, collaborative thing on Rich Strickler's channel, another great friend and, and somebody else you need to uh, support on the vinyl community. Um... We are doing uh, our top 10 songs of each letter of the alphabet. It's been a lot of fun. We just did the I's yesterday, so go on Rich's channel. You can watch the video from A to I. It's very challenging. It's hard to pick 10 songs only. Start with a certain letter. There's so many. Just think about the Beatles with I. You got I am the walrus. I feel fine. I will. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I don't want to spoil the part. There's a million of them. Okay. Anyway, um, we talked about Gordon Lightfoot because Rich picked If You Could Read My Mind. And I mentioned the fact that when Gordon Lightfoot released that song, it was released on an other album, and then when that song became a hit, they re-released the album with a different cover and changed the title of the album to If You Could Read My Mind. And um, one of the commenters said, hey, that album was called Sit Down Stranger. I'm going through my albums today to kind of pick stuff out and what do I come up with sit down stranger I have it <laughs> it's on the reprise label and it says featuring if you could read my mind which the album was re-released in entitled if you could read my mind so I just wanted to mention that that's kind of cool and uh, last but not least the Grateful Dead um, if you talk to Deadheads that are go back to 67 or 65 or 66 to, to whatever. I think most of them don't like the era with Brett Midland. And I like that era. And that was the only hit song they ever had was Touch of Grey. And it is on this album, which is one of my favorite Grateful Dead albums, In the Dark. Uh, I don't know why people would crap on this album. It's fantastic. It's, uh, if, if you're on the fence with the Grateful Dead, I would suggest you give this album a listen. I think you would like it a lot. There's some great tracks on here. Touch of Grey, Hell in a Bucket, uh, When Push Comes to Shove, West L.A. Free, uh, Fade Away, Throwing Stones, Black Muddy River, which is absolutely a beautiful song. Um, great album, Grateful Dead. Their only hit album, I think. So, um, that's it, man. I just wanted to show a few records and say hello. That's all. That's all I wanted to do. I got nothing. Um, please. Thumbs really help my channel. Please give me your thumbs. Please. I'm, please. And um, thank you so much for watching, everybody who participates. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for always being there. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll be back soon. Take care.